to sport now with Angela Pippos. Thanks, Heather. Good evening. A sense of occasion will be a motivating factor for both teams in the second test, starting tomorrow in Sydney. On a wicket which invariably produces results, Australia will try to give Vice-Captain Steve Waugh victory in his 100th test. South Africa will be drawing on a thrilling five-run win on the same ground four years ago. Have a new year all. Mark Taylor will be hoping so, as he leads Australia into its most crucial match of the summer. On a pitch tinged with green, but mainly straw-coloured and certain to turn, the captains have nominated where the selection priorities lie. It'd be nice to play three, three quicks and two spinners, but obviously we can't do that. Uh, so that'll be a tough choice tomorrow morning. Well, I think Paul Adams will be a likely candidate. He'll come into the squad and then we'll make a final decision in the morning. Leaving no stone unturned, the visitors have put their young spinner under the fine-tuning gaze of a local specialist, former test bowler Ashley Mallett. But while respecting the SCG's spinning reputation, Hansi Kronje also recalls the other factors which gave South Africa a sensational victory defending just 117 at the same venue. I think that was due to some, some fine bowling and some fine fielding by the South Africans and I think that's going to be the key again here. Yeah, if I just judge on the first test in Melbourne, uh, runs are going to be at a premium. Mark Taylor says revenge for the 1994 loss won't be a motivational tool. But something the Australians can use is Steve Waugh's milestone, joining Alan Border and David Boone as the only Australians to have played 100 tests. I suppose that is good luck to play it at your home ground and in front of you know, all the people, at uh, your family and your friends. I think it's, it's great, it's tremendous. Steve Waugh is adamant the visitors have exposed their weakness by claiming the draw in the first test was more a boost for morale than a moral victory. To say that means that they didn't really expect a draw, so uh, I think we can take some, uh, something positive out of that. In, in, in that uh, South Africa a little bit scared of playing Shane Warne on the last day. With storms and showers forecast for Sydney over the next couple of days, only the weather could spoil what should be a fascinating test match. John Bell, ABC News, Sydney.